welcome back uh, in our last lecture we discussed on the tunneling phenomena or tunneling mechanism uh, or quantum tunneling how the electrons tunnel between the tip and sample and the distance between the tip sample plays a very important role to the tunneling current and tunneling current uh, varies significantly as we change the tip sample distance and by that uh, we can create the image of the surface uh, that we will see today uh, in the operation mode. There are a uh, few couple of operation modes particularly uh, constant height mode and constant current mode and these two modes are normally used to get the surface image in the scanning tunnel microscope. In addition to that uh, I will show you what type of image is obtained in scanning tunneling microscope and how the image is processed uh, briefly and there can be also some artifacts how, uh, how one, one can know the presence of artifacts on the uh, in the image and how to uh, get rid of the artifacts. artifacts. So, as for the operating uh, modes uh, concern we have uh, two modes which are widely used in the scanning tunneling microscope one is constant height mode and another is uh, constant current mode. So, in the constant height mode uh, it means the tip is at that same height above the sample. The sample is there uh, we have a tip. So, it should scan it is a scanning probe microscope. So, tip has to scan and normally it scan from left to right and again it come back again left to right again come back left to right it, it will scan like this in the raster manner. So, now uh, tip is maintained at the same height. And in order to maintain the same height, uh, we apply a constant uh, voltage to our piezo scanner because by applying uh, the voltage we can change the height of the tip because piezo scanner or piezoelectric materials used in piezo scanner allows uh, it to either contract or expand. And uh, as it contract and expand, the uh, tip goes up or down. So, in these cases we do not make tip to go up and down rather we make sure the tip is moving at constant height above the sample. As we move at the constant height what will happen if it at any places there is a protrusion or there is a hill on the sample then our tip will be much closer to the sample surface if uh, in any places there is a uh, uh, downwards um, valley then we will have a larger distance between tip and sample. So, the by uh, so depending upon the sample uh, uh, height as you see here let us say different atoms are there uh, in the, uh, in these places the gap between at these places gap between the tip and sample is larger. On the other hand uh, at this place the tip between the um, the distance between the tip and sample is smaller. So, when the distance between the tip and sample is smaller then we will measure a higher tunneling current. When the distance between tip and sample is larger then we will measure a small tunneling current. So, here we have seen that in constant height mode tip at constant height and it is scanned uh, above the sample. And then dip depend as we have a different tunneling current as we have a different tunneling current one places high tunneling current where the distance between tip and sample is small and other places a less or low tunneling current this tunneling current can be used for imaging purpose. So, we get the surface topology from the current data or tunneling current data in this case and moreover uh, this is a fast fast way of doing uh, because we do not uh, change the voltage to the piezo scanner as we do not change the voltage to the piezo scanner uh, the tip can move at a faster rate. So, it is advantage that we can do scanning very quickly, but also it has a disadvantage is that if sample has sample is very rough then tip may crash tip may crash once tip crash then artifacts will be generated tip shape will be distorted and artifacts will form. So, this type of study can be done uh, for a atomically smooth sample if we know already that sample is very smooth then uh, we can use it this this mode. 
and this mod is can provides atomic resolution image because directly we measure current uh, in the level of picoampere to nanoampere and that does it can gives us very high resolution. And another mod uh, is a constant current mod. Constant current mod is used for uh, unknown sample or rough sample. So, here uh, we uh, our feedback control will allow or will set a preset a current that it wants to measure only. In order to do that, uh, in order to do that as you see here, uh, we want to measure a constant current, my tip has to go, go up and down to see that preset current. If uh, at some places here, here sample is a little above than that this place. So, that in order to measure constant current tip has to go little upward here, but again as you see the tip has to come downward here because, because of distance of because some uh, sample is seen at a little lower depth. So, in order to measure constant current tip has to come down and a tip has to come down by suitably applying a voltage to the piezo element. So, our feedback control will pass the information how much current it is seeing and therefore, how much tip has to come down to see a preset or constant current. In this way tip has to go up and down up and down to see constant current and how much tip is going down and how much tip is going up that will be utilized for constructing the image. And as we are measuring the constant current we are making sure that tip is not at all going to be touch the sample because as soon as it come to closer to the uh, sample. Uh, it will measure a higher current and feedback loop will certainly stop the tip moving closer to the sample because it already measured uh, that much of current. So, uh, feedback loop will, pro, uh, will give the signal that uh, you are already reaching to the value of the current now you have to go upward. So, in this way uh, this type of uh, measurements or constant current measurements it particularly done with the unknown sample. And the voltage in the piezoelectric scanner provides the topographic height to construct the image. How much we voltage we provide to mop the tip upward or downward direct direction and that voltage is utilized to construct the image. So, basically we have two modes uh, constant height mode and constant current mode. Constant height mode is suitable for high resolution image as long as sample is atomically flat. Constant current mode is for unknown samples. Uh, it should be done first and if the sample is atomically flat or very smooth then constant height mode can be utilized for that sample. So, now you see how the image look like in scanning tunneling microscope. Uh, this is a STM image of highly oriented pyrolytic graphite HOPG highly oriented pyrolytic graphite. As we know the graphite is nothing but hexagonal sheet of carbon they uh, carbon atoms are arranged hexagonally. And what we see here, uh, you see the uh, hexagons, there is several hexagons. At that place, at that place, tip measures current. So, therefore, you see the brightness uh, at the place where there is a carbon atoms and there is a bonding. And in the center, you see dark center of the hexagon, and you see dark because there is no current available, because there is no atom available, there is no electronic clouds. Therefore, we do not measure any current at the center of a hexagon therefore, it is darker. In addition if you if you look carefully mostly we could see that the contrast or the brightness is brightness is little little higher uh, at the corner of the hexagons where carbon atoms are present because as it is a constant constant height mode as tip is mopped uh, across the sample wherever it see uh, an atom there only it, it will find some current and that current is utilized for constructing the image. When a one particular place, place let us say it is hexagon, uh, we have a carbon uh, we have carbon atom six carbon atom so whenever it see a carbon atom tip is scanning at the at this position at this carbon position it will see a higher current and that current is plotted used for 
um, getting this topographic image clearly showing the hexagon of the graphite um, graphite edge of PG. And as you see uh, now you can actually measure the distance between carbon atoms and the distance between uh, what is the hexagon um, uh, diameter or all kinds of measurements at the atomic level you can do. And this is a monolayer graphene showing uh, the hexagons with a bias voltage as you see 0 0.6 volt and current 0 0.3 nano ampere at a, at a current 0 0.3 constant uh, nano ampere it is measured in the graphene case. Here is an example of uh, carb, uh, C60 fullerene on mica. In the left side what you see uh, is a uh, constant height mode uh, measurements. In the constant height mode uh, at the top of this uh, fullerene uh, molecule uh, which are like a sphere type of uh, molecules at the top you see very bright bright features. Bright means uh, it is measuring a high current uh, more current tunneling current and therefore, you see more bright and uh, in the x x y axis it is giving the lateral direction. Uh, from the lateral direction we can uh, see that uh, the diameter of the fullerene was uh, measured to be 0 0.7 nanometer or 7 angstrom which is uh, close to the 0 0.71 angstrom theoretically measured for the C60. And in the height cases you can also this uh, scale bar showing the height uh, telling about uh, the uh, height of the sphere or in this case as fullerene molecule. And in the right side you see the position of the atoms uh, 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 where the carbon atom are present for example, carbon atom is present here it is more bright here, here more bright, here more bright and one can determine the position of carbon atom from the current graph and this is the scale of current scale uh, wherever the atom is present there, oh, there you see the brightness level is more because of higher current or larger current in the current measures by the tip uh, in the STM. So, in, in this cases uh, it is a um, uh, mechanical seared platinum iridium tip was used here tip was uh, prepared mechanically just by simple coating a platinum iridium uh, uh, wire and measured in constant height mode. This is a uh, again a topography a topograph of um, silicon surface and what we see as a there is a brightness and uh, darkness differences in the sample. Uh, uh, it is all uh, it is showing a sphere of something like this type of surface. The bright dots are the protrusions and the darker part are the depressions. Uh, by taking a line scan this is a 5, 5 nanometer by 5 nanometer area of uh, the sample and uh, this scale giving us the height scale and how much above and how much down in the picometer level. And this is a line scan graph, line scan graph gives us quantitative information as we can see here uh, 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 it is scanning from here, it is beginning from here, it is beginning for here, from here. Uh, this region is here it is looking like a darker that means low uh, uh, height is low, height is there is in depression and that would measure. A, a small current, this is almost like a uh, around uh, 70 picometer uh, downwards and then uh, as soon as a brighter person comes this is a upward person or protrusion uh, the tip has to go upward and it, it has gone upward around like 50 to 150 like it is a height of around uh, 100 pico, um, picometer height of this sphere is 100 picometer above uh, above this ground level and then it has come down as you see there is another protrusion uh, downwards depth here and it is showing downward and again little bit of up again little drop up, up and then again coming downwards. So, this is done by line scan and in the uh, imaging uh, um, image you can just draw a line and see how the up and downwards of the tip is occurring and thereby measuring the height or depth uh, in the level atomic levels. So, this type of height measurements or the vertical uh, Z measurements was not possible in our scanning electron microscope or helium ion microscope, but this, this scanning prop techniques provides, provides us Z resolution or depth resolution 
in the atomic scale or in picometer scale as you see here. Uh, this is a uh, one one surface of the silicon how the atoms are arranged on the surface of the silicon uh, as uh, silicon one one surface you could, could clearly see the atomic arrangements using the scanning tunneling microscope. Uh, one of the advantage of scanning tunneling microscope is that you can do uh, in any atmosphere you can do under air you can do under liquids this is an example of a uh, gold sample gold 111 surface collected uh, uh, 11 surface image is collected under the liquid and in this case liquid was uh, uh, 5 mm phosphate buffer solution it was uh, under 5 millimolar phosphate buffer solution at a pH of 7.7 .7. Uh, this image was collected uh, in two condition one was without air without argon and another was with argon protection of the tip the protection was done uh, just to see what the difference is coming but actually uh, what is being observed that there is no difference at all uh, when it is done in the inert atmosphere or with a uh, um, without an inert atmosphere so, in presence without uh, argon means in presence of oxygen because it was a aqueous electrolyte solution. So, the oxygen presence in the solution or in the medium has no much impact as per the quality of the image is concerned. And this image uh, was collected using a platinum iridium tip because platinum iridium tip can be utilized because these are more inert in the solution compared to the tungsten strip which can form oxide. And once it forms oxide, uh, then the tunneling current measurements uh, is cannot be possible because of the uh, low conductivity of oxide. And in this particular cases measurement was done with a 0 0.2 nano ampere uh, uh, constant uh, current mode, it is a constant current mode measurement uh, and with a bias voltage as you see 0 0.1 volt very small bias voltage. Uh, and here the potential to the working electrodes was 0 0.4 versus saturated color electrode, it was done with the electrochemical cell where the working electrodes was a gold um, and uh, that was uh, put at a potential minus 0 0.4 volt versus saturated column electrode. Uh, it is important to note that uh, the um, resolution or the quality of the uh, sample was almost same as that done in ultra high vacuum condition. Uh, normally um, ultra high vacuum condition is used in ma many uh, scanning tunneling microscopic image because in ultra high vacuum we can have a clean surface uh, without having adsorbate or any impurity on the surface. In this uh, type of uh, STM study, uh, we exclusively measure the surface properties at the atomic scale therefore, cleanness of surface is very important. But in this particular study as we see it is done under liquid. So, without ultra high vacuum also uh, it is cannot be possible to do uh, the measurements of liquid in ultra high vacuum, but the uh, information uh, obtained or achieved with gold sample uh, in the liquid medium is almost similar to that of uh, taken in the ultra high, ultra high vacuum condition providing the atomic resolution. About the image processing, uh, there are several image processing technology are available. Oh, I will not uh, go more detail into imaging processing, image processing, but just test more simple examples I have taken here. Uh, like a median filter was used to process the image uh, for uh, in this particular cases there are 8 pixel and at, as you see in every pixel there are different uh, uh, noise value, there is a different gray value and but this value among these value this is completely. Uh, something very unusual value or very high value. Uh, so, therefore, uh, uh, noise reduction can be possible by uh, taking a median value of uh, 8 pixel, a median value of this uh, uh, 8 pixel uh, is was found to be 68, uh, the median value was, was taken as 68 instead of 255, 255 is uh, replaced by was replaced by 68 by doing that uh, one can uh, reduce the noise uh, could be due to different environmental factor and this is a noise reduction image before noise and after noise. This, this was after the median filtering of the noise when it is noise is removed as you see the clarity of the image is improved. So, in this way image processing done, but image processing is uh, depends on the software available with the machine and uh, therefore, I am not going much detail into it. Uh, 
data analysis as per the constant we have I have discussed about one line scan. This is an an another example how the line scan, uh, scan is providing the quantitative information. Uh, in this case it was a uh, 3, 3D uh, germanium island on the surface and we could see taking a line scan this is the, this red line is a line scan. By taking a line scan we know that means uh, which region uh, there is a downward uh, direction movement of the sample and which region there is upward. Uh, um, upward uh, direction of the sample uh, topology. Uh, uh, from the uh, left side image uh, certainly this region is a little darker indicating that it is downward, but we d oh, by, by micro from the image we cannot measure uh, how much uh, depth is there uh, in this there is a depth. This is a downward, uh, downward direction near the island the surface is going down at the edge of the island the surface is uh, not the flat it has come down. So, this uh, measurement height measurements can be possible or vertical height measurements can be possible by uh, the scanning prop technique. And in addition to that uh, we certainly know it is a three dimensional image by other microscopic techniques such as SEM and helium ion microscope. In this cases also from the brightness or darkness difference we can certainly know the three dimensional image, but it is very difficult to measure accurate measurement of this height how much above the surface. That we could do, do in this cases by measuring a line scan exactly from in this particular cases the height is around uh, 0 to 150 angstrom that is 15 nanometer. This quantitative value can uh, is can only be accepted by scanning prop technique, but not in our other technique that we have discussed scanning electron microscope or scanning ion microscope uh, though they gives also three dimensional image quantitative information about the z direction or height direction was not measured by other microscopic technique. Artifacts, the artifacts can be due to uh, um, several reasons. So, major artifacts is from comes from the tip. Uh, tip shape uh, significantly uh, affect the uh, image quality uh, particularly if the tip uh, uh, is uh, blunt or tip is very uh, rough then the image cannot be uh, correct or image uh, cannot be the real image uh, that could be due to artifacts. As you see here in this cases uh, let us say we have a uh, one dimensional feature on the sample, one dimensional feature of the sample and this type of one dimensional feature cannot be used cannot be studied by a tip of uh, uh, tip of this this type of tip cannot be used to study one dimensional feature. So, in order to get the correct image of a one dimensional feature our tip should be of similar expect ratio or better expect ratio, expect ratio is the ratio of the height to the uh, uh, width or thickness ratio expect ratio. So, if we choose a tip of one dimensional features then only it can gives like here uh, by using a tip of green color we can get a image of uh, one dimensional feature using the um, STM. On the other hand if same one dimensional feature will be seen by this type of tip then we will get a image of like this because as soon as uh, tip comes closer uh, it cannot come very close to the tip because otherwise it this place will touch it cannot touch uh, in our STM because this region will measure current and therefore as we provide constant current mode for unknown sample. Uh, it will uh, make the tip to go away from the sample because at these places uh, it will see a larger current and therefore it will not allow the tip to touch to the uh, come close to the one dimensional feature. Therefore, the tip has to go above or away from the sample and providing an image of like this in this kind of tip. Even the feature is original feature is a one dimensional feature, but using a tip like this triangular tip we would get a triangular type of features uh, in the image. So, therefore, uh, it is very important to have a tip which is high expect ratio in addition to that the this curvature of the tip curvature should be smaller than the curvature of the sample. If the tip curvature is larger then we cannot get uh, the correct uh, um, or correct image of the sample. As you see in this cases. Uh, there is a um, there is a features uh, almost all features are looking uh, similar and but uh, in the middle there is a brighter um, uh, brighter uh, features 
and ar around that there is a halo and these are um, a carbide these are carbide clusters uh, what we could see that in, in addition to the carbide clusters as you see in the image uh, in the background there is a there is a, a one dimensional directional features are seen and all these particles are appearing uh, of similar shape with a middle person uh, brighter than around the person. So, this type of image indicates there is artifacts, there is something wrong with the tip and uh, here this image was collected with a blonde tip or very uh, not sharp tip giving the inform uh, giving showing the image of the tip only not actually the sample. Uh, in the C you could see the touch cluster of completely different shape, touch clusters of completely different shape. Here it is larger and during the scanning we see, during the scanning we see that in some places the tip uh, touch to the uh, sample, there is a contact between the tip and sample and thereby there is a change in the uh, uh, tip shape when the uh, tip will scratch the sample surface then there will be tip uh, shape changes of the tip and that is what happened. After the tip shape changes you see completely different type of features and this is again not correct because if we see here uh, some of the particles are uh, appearing as a, uh, a as a triangular or, or, or something like uh, three dots. So, th those are not correct this is due to artifacts. So, these are if this type of uh, features are seen which are of similar shape throughout the sample with a one uh, elongated features etcetera this indicates. Uh, about the artifacts uh, of the tip providing uh, uh, wrong, Im uh, wrong image. And the, this such artifacts again can lead to uh, uh, to not provide uh, uh, actual information of the sample as you see in these cases uh, tip uh, do not have a very um, high expect ratio therefore, tip cannot come close to the sample as soon as it starts coming here it has to go up because we measure constant current and thus uh, these regions these regions are cannot be actually seen in the image this region of the sample cannot be seen these are called uh, dead region because the tip is very blunt and very the curvature is very high the, using a large uh, curvature of the tip we cannot uh, image the smaller features on the sample and that, that are termed as a dead zone. Artifacts can also be uh, due to multiple tips. If the multiple tips are there, uh, then they will show different type of information on the image uh, that you see here. Uh, for example, this is a um, multiple tip, uh, um, uh, tip number 1, tip number 2, tip number 3 and uh, if uh, there is a single feature here which is not very, um, uh, the height of this feature is not very tall then we could see uh, the features like this, but as we keep on increase uh, as the features uh, height increases in the sample, then uh, at that places we see a double tip information as you see here the same features looks like uh, two repeating features. This is due to the double tip, two tips are measuring the current at the same time, measuring the voltage at the same time uh, because they measure uh, they, they are being measured at constant current mode. So, uh, this two uh, inform voltage is going to two different tip giving two different data data points that is why repeat of this same structure. Uh, here uh, this type of feature see multiple such type of structure multiple such type of structure each of this structure there is a one feature actually, but each tip is measuring them as each tip is measuring them that is why the repeated uh, information are being seen here multiple tip effect each tip is getting information here is tip image even it is a one dimensional feature uh, what you see here there is many features because of uh, many such small tips at the uh, tip apex. Artifacts can be also due to the piezo, piezo, um, piezo, piezoelectric scanner and particularly due to grip and non-linearity and uh, we have discussed before what is grip. Uh, it is a uh, time dependent phenomena. So, uh, normally here you see there is a bending of the steps in the beginning of the image due to creep of the piezoelectric effect. Uh, in, in into the piezoelectric scanner we provide the voltage and when we pro provide the voltage 
and that will expand or or contract expand or contract. Now, if we are applying the positive potential that has to tip has to move expanding expanding and when we bring back the voltage so that tip should contract quickly, but it, it, it cannot be done uh, it, it, it never uh, act uh, instantaneously it takes time it is a time, time dependent phenomena. So, by the time our voltage has come back to the original position my tips still will be moving in the right direction other direction and that leads to this bending. So, it 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 as piezoelectric scanner do not uh, reflect or react instantaneously, but takes time and that leads to the creep or due to the distortion I maps and in this cases it is bending occurring. Similarly, here you see there is a actually a, this is a single steps this is a single step, but because of double tip it appearing as a uh, double steps. It is actually not a double step, but a single step. So, as you see, every side, every places the uh, this step, the gap between these two points are always same fixed, indicating it is due to the tip effects, not actually the sample. If it, it could be double step in the sample, there is a rare chance that every places uh, there will be this this step gap will be almost equal. So, in conclusion uh, constant height mode uh, is prepared uh, for high resolution uh, STM image, uh, because it actually measure the current at that same place. Uh, a different type of uh, matrix elements and uh, filtering is used to uh, smooth the, uh, smoothening the for smoothening the images or uh, to get more uh, clean image and to measure the um, length, width, height or thickness of the layers. Uh, the line scan can be utilized uh, to get quantitative values. As we uh, also have seen the STM tip has a uh, strong effect on the resulting image, the tip has to be atomically sharp and that has to be single tip, otherwise the image will be, dis uh, will be distorted or distorted image will be forming because of the distorted tip. In addition to that uh, we have piezo creep and non-linearity that also leads to distorted image for uh, getting uh, information about a larger or uh, high expect ratio feature, the tip has to be also high expect ratio uh, to provide the correct image. These are the references. Thank you.